looking down the draft board, what are some of the spots that you think uh, could be landing spots for you tomorrow night? Uh, you know, I, I've got a, a decent feel for that. Um, obviously, my agent has more to do with that than I do. I, I just went to my workout since the combine and did the best that I can do. Uh, I think Detroit at nine is a possibility. Um, New Orleans quite possibly at ten. You know, if they want to, you know, mix it up and quite possibly, you know, start a new front court with Anthony Davis and I. Uh, Portland, depending on where they go with six, um, the, that changes. You know, guard at six, big at eleven, big at six, guard at eleven. You never know what happens there. And then Milwaukee at twelve. I I, I had a good time there, and I felt like that was a a, a pretty good fit. Uh, and then I, I did go to Phoenix, and I enjoyed that as well uh, at 13. Uh, Houston obviously has 14 and 16. They, I, they're making moves right now, but I'm, I'm not really sure. But I've just heard. And then I, I did go to Dallas at 17. And, of course, Boston has 21 and 22. So you never know what can happen on draft night. I'm just going to remain positive and keep my fingers crossed. What would you think of Detroit? I don't necessarily model my game after one guy. You know, I, I, I think that being well-rounded on the court is, is very important. Um, I do see some different characteristics in different guys. Like Joe Kim Noah, I love the way with, he plays with energy. Uh, Tyson Chandler's ability to affect the game in the paint on both ends, catching lobs, blocking shots. And, uh, you know, hopefully someday in the future maybe as, be as uh, skilled as Paul Gasol. Is there any fear or apprehension before you take this next big jump? No. Uh, I've uh, always pushed through tough times and new new things in my life and uh, I've always accomplished them. I'm a very competitive and uh, self-determined person. Uh, so, you know, I feel like anything that's thrown in front of me, I, I can I can take care of. What are you going to buy with your first paycheck? Uh, take care of my mom. How are you going to do that? Uh, well, you got to start from the basics, get her into, you know, like an orthopedic surgeon, uh, a good doctor that can give her some help. Uh, from there, clearly I'm going to have to have somewhere to live and then uh, we'll see what happens from there. Not any like uh, cars or. Uh, I have clothes. a car. I have a car in mind, but uh, that's a secret. <laughs> How has playing in the Big Ten help you prepare for the physical NBA? You know, the Big Ten, I believe this year was definitely the best conference uh, in America. Um, very physical, um, grind every single night, no matter where you go, especially on the road. Uh, it's not an easy task. So uh, I feel like it definitely helped me. Um, you know, there was teams definitely kind of keyed in on me and threw some big bodies at me and just continued to throw more bodies at me throughout the game. So, uh, you know, I think it'll de it definitely will have helped me. Your size is a big asset. What else can you bring to to the NBA? Athleticism and uh, a positive attitude and willingness to work hard. So when I say Detroit Pistons, what do you think? Uh, I think that would be a good fit. Uh, they they get after it. They're known for you know being aggressive and uh, defensive-minded team. So. You no, know, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed, and hopefully one of these teams calls my name. My, have you heard about building up for an NBA body, and what have you tried to do to create more of a strength in the upper court? Uh, I've always been in the weight room, but not as focused as I have been in the last year, and, and especially in the last few months. Um, very dedicated to the weight room. Uh, care about my body. I mean, at this point, you know, my, my body is really what makes me my money and uh, keeps me going, you know, the ability to compete. Um, you know, definitely got to work on my core strength, uh, which is actually one of my strengths, but even to get it to another level. Um, uh, and just overall, I, uh, I definitely take pride in being strong in the weight room. I think that my frame can definitely hold 260, 265. So uh, we'll see. I, you know, I think I can keep my athleticism and continue to be uh, a mobile big uh, with that weight on. Mark. They, they really don't uh, mention anything like that. They just, you know, tell me to, to remain positive and uh, work as hard as possible.